Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. And since we've no place to go... <laughs> Well, Merry Christmas, everybody. This weather sucks. So I may live in California and I may have all but forgotten the pain of the cold, wet, snowy Christmas, but I spent a solid 22 years in the cold and snow and rain in Illinois. I'm from the Midwest and I grew up with rainy, snowy, just negative 10 degree winters all the time. There's footage of me skating with shoveled out driveways and cleared out parking lots and trying to deal with the salt and gravel and just general grossness of the winter. So I assure you, I know the pain you guys are going through through and I feel like it is my responsibility to make a video to tell you what I do and what I used to do on these really gross, rainy, nasty winter days. But when it's not raining, this is what I usually do. It is December 24th right now. At least I think it is when you're watching this. Merry Christmas to everybody. And to start off, the first thing that I usually do, whether or not it is raining or snowing or sleeting or just thundering ridiculously outside, is that I wake up in the morning and I watch YouTube videos or Instagram clips to catch up with what went down while I was asleep. In the winter, it's especially fun. I think all through my like middle school and high school careers, being able to see my friends on YouTube and Instagram, well, not really Instagram, but YouTube, helped me get through those times and I could kind of live vicariously through all my friends overseas and living in warmer climates. Luckily, <laughs> I'm that guy now for y'all, so you can always subscribe, watch my videos, and make me some AdSense money. <laughs> now I don't actually make any money off of that. <sighs> Your boy's broke. There's always guys like Andy Schrock, John Hill, all the homies. Reese Archibald just made an awesome part that I actually montaged in my last trick tip. Guys like Connor Burke have some of the best footage ever and I will be very soon making a video of a bunch of my favorite YouTube videos related strictly to freestyle for you guys to watch. I'll make that some other time in the future. Of course, another go-to when I uh, can't quite get it on the board is I play video games. Maybe some skate, maybe some Tony Hawk, perhaps skate or die. <laughs> Have you seen the Xbox? Uh, yeah, I sold it last week. Tight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. uh, yeah, okay, that's out of the question. I wonder if there's any parking garages around here. There's somebody walking their dog in the rain. I don't, why? He doesn't want to be outside. No, none of you want to be outside right now. Get a treadmill. And like maybe you're like me and you feel like you should be training and cross training every minute of the day because you're an active competitor and possibly even the second best freestyler in the world. Stay here for a minute. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing really well. How are you? This guy is the second best freestyler in the world. But more importantly, have you guys seen this freestyle skate park? Uh, no, but if you do want to keep your skills on point and you want to be practicing even when you can't actually practice skateboarding, balance boards are a really good thing to do. Uh, I made one out of a fo uh, foam roller. I just hit myself in the chin. Should I refilm that? <laughs> no, <laughs> leave it, okay. I recently made one out of a foam roller and a skateboard deck and uh, it works okay. It, it's a good way to keep your balance and kind of tune your balance that you would have for manuals or grinds or whatever you're doing, even when you can't actually be on a board with wheels. Uh, all you need is a little foam roller. This is a just general cheapo foam roller from like Target that I use to roll out my back because I'm falling apart, y'all. And a board that I got from Open Source Skateboards with a little Waltz graphic engraved on it. I haven't looked at this in a while and I forgot how pretty this board was. She's a beaut, y'all. Oh, 
And maybe your yearning for wheels and trucks is greater than mine and you'd rather just carpet board. That's cool too. Just like make sure you don't have downstairs neighbors because they don't like that very much. And if you still have the itch to skateboard and balance boards and carpet boards and whatever else can't really fix it, you could always just daydream about skateboarding. I spent so much of my time in high school and middle school sending texts to friends or just trick ideas, ideas I wanted to film, and just sort of daydreaming about tricks I wanted to do once the snow was melted. And that community, that sense of community that I had in freestyle, and that group of friends that I found through skating means so much to me even today. Uh, I can't say that enough how much uh, the, the sense of community and the social aspect of this sport has really really changed my life and affected uh, how I live and uh, the place I am. Thanks John, miss you buddy. Thanks for tuning in though guys. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe, hit that bell button so you get notifications. And you can also find me on Instagram at Mike underscore Osterman, or on Twitter at Mosty underscore Osterman, where I mainly just get political and uh, post videos of dogs. Real wholesome stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope the winter isn't too excruciating for you, and I hope you can make it through this winter break and this crazy snow and rain that you're all seeing in one piece. Stay tuned next week as we do another trick tip, and until then, keep dancing. And uh, peep the waltz gear. and Check it out in this tag, y'all. Walt skateboarding long sleeves, the best stocking stuffer you can possibly find on the internet this year, I promise.